this is 2024 times on two paper two a sl a a sl question eight it's like the second question in section b uh what is that it seems to be there are some optimization finding maximum or minimum using differentiation with some window the width is 2x the height is h for the rectangular part the top is a semicircle find the area of the window uh, well this is x right so the radius is x then it's half of it because it's a semicircle plus the rectangle space times height and then the perimeter is p given that p is 10 uh okay i found the perimeter so the so the arc first is half a circle uh, the circumference of the circle is 2 pi l you have it plus the sides so it's 2x plus 2h and that's supposed to be 10 which means mean what the two cancel out so 2h is 10 minus 2x minus pi x so x is half of that okay pretty strict for it for now the window is designed to let in maximum amount of light the rectangular part let in three units of light while the semicircle part let in only one unit of light uh, per area, by the way. That's per area. This is the unit of area, so it's per area. Alright, so what's the amount of light let in? Well, the rectangular part let in three units of light per area. So the amount of light that goes through the rectangular part is three times the area of the rectangle which is base times height plus the semicircle part letting one unit of light per area the area of the semicircle is pi x squared over 2 so the part is quite useless you can't directly use it uh, so this is what 6 x h plus pi x squared over 2 and then you see the formula they have they have no h which means we need to sub in h h is this we have what we have half times six so that's three three and then we have three x uh i'll expand that all in so three x 3x times 10, so that's 30x. 3x times minus 2x, so that's minus 6x squared. And then 3x times negative pi x, that's minus 3 pi x squared. Okay, we're very close to what we want. So here we have what? Well, this is pi x squared, this is also pi x squared. So they can add up. We have negative 3 of it plus half of it. So negative 3 plus half, there's negative 5 over 2. So we have negative 5 over 2 of pi x squared. And that's what they want. di is to differentiate it. So we'll do that. di l dx so differentiate this differentiate 30x is 30 second square is 12x and then 5 over 2 is a coefficient it just stay in front pi is also just a number so it's a coefficient it stay in front so you only differentiate the 2x uh, sorry you only differentiate the x squared which is 2x
of Vampix so that the window lane maximum amount of light justify that it is a maximum. So maximum or minimum occurred when the derivative is zero. So you make the derivative zero and then you solve for x. Um, I'll move this to the right first. Then factor x out. And uh, that's the value of x. Do they want decimal places? Mm, they didn't say that, so it's fine. Justify it is a maximum. So I guess I'll use the second derivative. If you differentiate this again, differentiate 30 is gone. Differentiate negative 12 x negative 12. Differentiate negative 5 pi x is minus 5 pi. Again, pi is just a number. So this is uh, less than zero. So the second derivative is always negative, so it's a maximum. Right, normally, normally you need to sub in the x value into the second derivative, then say it's a minimum, uh, then say it's a negative number, so it's a maximum. But this time the second derivative have no x at all, so there's nothing to substitute, so uh, you don't have to substitute. Find the value of h so that the amount of light is maximum. Um, I mean, we know this, so we just have it in. Uh, can I not do that? You just brush calculator, okay? 